We may be celebrating the falling flu, COVID and RSV numbers, but there's a virus we are already familiar with now making the rounds. Today, St. Michael Catholic School in Livonia shutting down until next week over the norovirus. Administration sending this letter to parents over concerns about the stomach bug. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, is here with advice on how to treat it if you're sick and how to avoid it if you're not. And Dr. Nandy, first of all, can you tell us about this norovirus surge? What's yeah, happening? Yeah, people don't even know what it is, right? It's yeah. unfortunate that norovirus cases have indeed recently spiked, but should we expect a surge? Well, if you look at the CDC data, Glenda, you can see that in late January, the trajectory of positive tests is almost straight up. Plus, we've had 225 reported outbreaks uh, this season thus far compared to 172 last season. But despite this, we're actually within the expected range that we typically see at this time of the year. Now, norovirus is often called the stomach flu, but it's not related to the flu at all. Now, noroviruses are actually a group of viruses. There are many different types, and they're very common, extremely contagious. People can suffer from vomiting, diarrhea, nausea, stomach pain. Some may also develop fever, headaches, and body aches. Norovirus can also cause acute gastroenteritis, which means inflammation of the stomach or intestines. Oh, that sounds serious. I was going to ask if it's dangerous and how you can treat it and how you can avoid it. Yeah, important stuff, right? So for most people, getting infected is just a nuisance, but you may not feel well for a few days. But some infections actually can be severe, lead to severe dehydration and even death. And that's what we worry about. It can be especially dangerous for babies, older adults, the immunocompromised and pregnant women. Anyone that's at high risk or has lasting symptoms should see their doctor right away. Because every year, according to the CDC, norovirus cases cause approximately 109,000 hospitalizations and 900 deaths. That's a lot uh, of folks that are dying. As for treatment, there is no specific treatment for or antiviral. So it's extremely important to replace lost fluids to avoid dehydration. Water, sports drinks, broths, or oral rehydration solutions all work well. As for prevention of infection, it's important to, to do this, right? Wash your hands with warm, soapy water for 20 seconds, especially after using the bathroom, right? Changing diapers and before you prepare or eat any foods. Mm. The reason why is because the virus is shed in stool and vomit and only takes a small number of particles to spread this virus. People can pick it up uh, by touching contaminated surfaces, objects, foods, or drinks. Or, and they can stay on surfaces and objects for days or even weeks. So if you or a loved one is sick, it's best, home, best to stay home until you're feeling better. This will help the virus from spreading in our communities. But some common sense, right? We talk about washing your hands. People think they're always clean. Please just wash your hands for 20 seconds with soapy water. It should do the trick. All right. Thank you, Dr. Nandy. My Appreciate pleasure. it. Of course. And be sure to tune in this Sunday for the Dr. Nandy Show. He's going to be taking a look lifelong traumatic effects of drugs on teenagers. This week he's talking with a mother and her daughter struggling with addiction. That's Sunday 430 right here on 7.